my wife, Hannah R. Kaiser, had come to New York from Germany. My father-in-law, Dr. Max Meyer, uh, was familiar with Charitetic Hospital. That's how my first connection to, uh, to Charitetic directly. We went to several concerts. Uh, they were help being held in those days, I think, on the uh, air of Thanksgiving. And uh, it was tough getting into New York, by the way, <laughs> in those days, on an on a air of holiday. My parents have been devoted to Shari Tzedek since my birth, through their concerts and the dinners. Stucca was, was just an essential part of their life. And I remember even from a young age how uh, Hannah would always talk how important it was um, to how they gave money to Shari Tzedek and what wonderful things Shari Tzedek did in the medical fields. And she was in awe of that. Over the years in Israel that my parents visited, we've always come back to Shari Tzedek to see all its innovations and programs that they've incorporated. In the 80s, the fruit of my parents' uh, donations uh, was the neonatal uh, unit. I'm very impressed with the uh, way that Shari Tzedek handles new innovations and uh, provide health care to the general population especially to all the people that are being injured by the uh, constant violence and uh, the many babies that are being born. So they need as much help and resources as we're able to give them. What I really loved about Mr. Kaiser is the fact that it's not only Shari Tzedek that was fortunate enough to have a relationship with Mr. Kaiser, but he's involved with his community and with his family, and he's really a person who's loved by many people. Mr. Kaiser and the entire Kaiser family are, they're, I think they're rich people. They're rich because they're Sameach Bechelka, and they are very uh, loyal to their legacy. They take Yiddishkeit seriously. They take their minhagim and their practices very seriously, but they're Sameach. Mr. Kaiser is the epitome of the shul Jew. Um, he is the type of man who opens up and closes down a shul every day. The type of man that will not miss a minion, and he's raised his children that way. Mr. Kaiser does a lot of that stuff which I always describe as behind the scenes that you take for granted, but you don't know who really does it, well he does it. So the, those little things which we take for granted are the things that he thinks are very important and make him part of his life. And Mrs. Kaiser, who passed away a few years ago, and Mr. Kaiser were very much a team. They weren't in their 20s, they weren't newlyweds, and they cared so much about each other from the way that he would help her walk and from the way, from the way that he would look at her. I don't know how many people in the world have it, but they definitely did. That's um, a life that really counts. I have to tell you, it was not easy to get Mr. Kaiser to agree to be an honoree. I reminded him, Mr. Kaiser, in 2016, you gave five contributions to Charlotte Seneca. In 2017, three contributions. And already this year, you've given three contributions. It's absolutely time to recognize and to thank you for what you've done over so many, many years. My father's lev, uh, translated as a heart, is a, um, a very special component of his, uh, of his whole basic life. He's dedicated to Yiddishkeit in the paramount, paramount way, to his family in the, in the utmost uh, manner, to his community, to his shul. The idea of a sense of obligation, the idea of living one's life for others, for one's family, for one's community, for one's ideals, generosity of spirit, dedication to Torah, they're all there. They're just there. That's just how he lives his life. The decision of what award to present Mr. Kaiser was very easy and it was unanimous, the Lev Tov Award. That's because throughout his life, Mr. Kaiser has embodied the very highest values of our Masora, 
Menschlichkeit, Decency, Honesty, and of course, dedication to Tzedakah and Chesed. Mr. Kaiser, we want to thank you so much for everything that you and your family have done over the years for Sharon Tzedek. Thank you.